GTAP tap, how come your mom lets you get two streams? Hold on. I didn't realize Pokemon Masters was out. Okay, I have no idea what's different for launch. Um hold on. I was like gonna go to bed honestly. <laughs> but the game is out now. Hey Blue. Why were you here? Why was Blue here? That's weird. Is that the end of the tutorial that they broke? The statue of the same NPC? I love video games. I don't hear anything. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's new things. Balance changes. Number of replay tickets. You needed two replay tickets to do a stage? That's... <laughs> Why would they do that? That's dumb. Um, participate in sync pair stories. From one to five. One to five? Holy... No! Oh. Frick. I should have evolved that stupid... Wait, did I evolve that stupid Empoleon? Oh, that sucks! That's so expensive. I've only been playing this game for a month. I don't know how to do things, guys. Um, I just want to see if I evolved Empoleon. Cause, oh my gosh, the evolution charts. Oh, I did. Okay, I think everyone that I could have evolved, I did evolve. The freaking that gave me a heart attack. Those stones are so expensive, unless they rebalanced it. You know what? I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me read the other change notes. So the game just launched. I guess I should mention that. Um, the game just launched a little bit early, a few hours early, at least. It was supposed to launch tomorrow, um, but it's worldwide out. So yes, you can download it on your on iOS or Android. Just go to the App Store. It is out. Updates items offer the shop. Oh, good, good. They they offer more gems now. Oh well, I would have only had 100 more gems for what I paid, so it doesn't. It's not a big deal. That's that's surprising though. Um. Usually, like, nothing changes from the location test. Um, I think that's... I think that's all we got. Maintenance. Hmm. Alright, let's see if there's any new stages. Welcome. Uh, co-op. Can we do these stages yet? Super hard ones. Getting stronger by gear. So that's a mission that does not seem to exist yet. I really wonder if that blue bug is fixed. Any events? Ah, oh, come on, man! I was really hoping they would launch with an event. Thank you very much. I love the I love the two punk girls. <laughs> Super duper punk. <laughs> That's what punks say, right? That's how you know they're punk. Nintendo, you gotta not launch games at 10 at 10 p.m. on a weeknight after I've done another stream. Can you get any launch goodies? No. All right, I need. To, hmm. Welcome. It may be launched download like 700 megabytes. I hope there's not. Is there nothing new? I'm I'm not super surprised, but I'm I am surprised that I had to download. 700 megabytes of nothing. But hey. The most important question is if that blue bug is fixed. So let's go test that out right now. Let's do a tech super course. Karen. It's gonna tell me not to vaccinate my kids.
Never surrender? Oops, did I spam that twice? I did. So, for anyone that doesn't know what the combat is like, well, it's like this! It's 3x3. Three three. Um, it's actually pretty good. Um, I hope they'll have, like, raid content, because currently, the team, well, I have, like, about as good a team as you can get, so. I guess I should be able to beat all content and stuff, but there's not really a lot of reason to do the co-op, which is a big part of what interested me in the game. I really like co-op stuff, but there's currently not a lot of reason to do it. You just kind of grind one of the levels to get some certain level up materials. And after that, you pretty much should just play solo. And there's no PvP, so the co-op, I hope, is really big. Like, Star Ocean Animesis did a really good thing for co-op. Um, basically tons of raid bosses. So, I'm hoping slash expecting something like that for this. Oops, whatever, that's fine. I've already won. Hey, fairy. Yeah, the combat's pretty good. You're seeing it at three times speed. Because this is... I have fought all of these matches a lot of times. So the game came out... What? Three weeks ago? In location test. First for Singapore, then Canada. And I got it. Um, got in on it early. I have to move the sounds. The sounds do sound worse because I'm playing it on so fast of speed. I, I, it's a mobile game. I don't usually have the sound on at all. Um, the, the combat lines. Oh my god, they fixed the blue bug! I have to- so hold on, I have to tell Discord. Blue bug is fixed and no VPN requirement. So I'm probably gonna make some little video guides for this, but... Um, I already have a very complete guide, written guide on my site. It really has all you could need to know. Um... Uh, hold up. like the sound of my keyboard. Most people do. It's a good, it's a fun keyboard. So that, there used to be a bug where after you complete a level, it kicks you back to the Poke Center lobby. And that would add, like, 10 to 20 seconds. Um, it would add loading screens. It would add a bunch of extra taps. And when you're grinding for, like, you know, it is a pretty grindy game if you're trying to unlock level caps and stuff. Um, it really, really sucked to have to do that, and they fixed it for launch, so that's cool. I can't believe Blue Bug finally fixed. Oops, I forgot to link the stream in my thing. Are we getting media comped? It's a little bit unstable, Mediacom, but it has been better since the update. I think you can... Let's take a look at the options since you mentioned that. Um, you can mute individually. I love when games have individual mutes, by the way. Some VNs even let you mute specific characters. Um, yeah, if you like don't want to hear the Pokemon cries, valid, considering. Um, don't want to hear the trainer voiceover. See, now you just hear the move sounds and the music. It's a bit less annoying. <laughs> I say less annoying, and then the low health beep comes in. How is now's my chance to come? <laughs> um, trainers basically, they have some, it's like, it's Nintendo voice acting, right? Um, everyone has like a few lines they say. They're, they're basically human Pokemon. <laughs> they have a couple lines they say, like, Mamma Mia Spaghetti! Um, and the, the dialogue, oh, oops, the auto, the auto a AI is not the best in the world, oh frick, I flinched, flinch is like being paralyzed in this by the way, well not paralyzed, but you lose a couple turns to it, it's stupid, it's really strong, I might be able to turn this around, Suwana does like no damage, 
Swana is really bad. Uh, she's just here for speed. All of your characters' speed adds up to the same total. So having three speedy Pokémon means your move gauge at the bottom fills up faster. Speed is the biggest difference in stats. So the things are a little different in this. It is... It's pretty heavily simplified in some ways. Which is funny. You would think Pokémon would be a simple thing. <laughs> it's very often not. Um, it's a very complicated game where they make easy levels so it seems simple. Um, but in this game, um... Like, let's take a look at Rosa here. Um... Yeah. You'll notice she's got a weakness to flying. Well, Superior has a weakness to flying. Um, no resistance! There's no resistances or immunities currently. I kind of hope that changes, because it makes making a team... Um... It's not really a reason to try to go for all elements. I mean, there's weaknesses, but it's only ever double damage. Whereas in normal Pokémon, the range goes from quadruple damage to no damage. So, it's, you know, it can be really extreme. Whereas in this one, you kind of just can use anything. And area of effect attacks are also really overpowered in this. Like, kind of over buff, but whatever. Basically, if you have an area of effect attack, um, you win. <laughs> I mean, you still need to have a reasonable level, but, um, oh, use that potion. Skyla also has a potion, rip. Oh, nah. We, we probably lose now, actually. I probably shouldn't play on three times speed. Hey, Farmer. Um... I might be able to do it. Maybe. Karen here is really good. All of the five stars are good, as, as you would expect. Balance is kind of as expected, except the free-to-play units are actually really good. Some of them. Um, some units are not good. But Rosa is actually... I would say arguably the best unit in the game right now, and she is free. Um, it's it's almost annoying how good she is because oh I keep, always forget to use that one. Oh, we're toast. Yeah, we're toast. Um, bosses are tricky in this. They're, they're not very Pokemon-y. Um, bosses are really super overpowered. It's just a regular ass toucan. That is too cannon, and he is very different. Excuse you. He is angry, and his beak can turn really hot. It's it's you don't understand, mom. If you have an AOE attack, you win. So it's just like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, <laughs> kinds of. But yeah, the thing about area of effect attacks is that area of effect attacks no longer. I'm gonna turn it on speed. Um, area of effect attacks no longer hurt your partners, so you can spam surf around, like, squishy, weak to water types, um, and it's no problem. And nothing can resist your move, and nothing can be immune to it, even more importantly. So you can just spam discharge from, um, Howe's Alolan Raichu, and you can beat anything under very hard difficulty, and most very hard things, as long as you have a proper level. It's pretty nuts. I usually play at about double speed if I'm playing manual. Triple speed gets a little hairy. Also, it does a really nice thing where auto, you can set auto to automatically increase the battle speed. The auto battle stuff is actually pretty good, so it has, so it has. Um, it has auto battle. Activates auto mode if device has been idle for a while, which is really cool in theory. Um, I've never actually seen auto switch actually work. It's it's never I've never seen it turn on. It must require a really long time. And if you idle in a battle for a really long time, you're probably just gonna lose. So it, it, the the thought is nice, but yeah. You can also turn down some of the UI. Um, attack order. Oh yeah, that's that's useful to have. More streams. Yep. G tap tap, how come you get two streams? No skins! Okay, that doesn't really apply. But no, this just came out. This this came out just now. Which is obviously 
Which is why I have a full max level team. I mean, it, the worldwide release came out. And no, you didn't get banned. That's A lot of people ask if you get banned or something if you play early. The answer is no. It's a location test. People are supposed to play it early. You're not supposed to use a VPN, but you pretty much never get in trouble. As long as you're not, like, you know, hacking or anything. Just a Pokemon named after a real ass thing. All Pokemon are named after real ass things. Every Pokemon name is a pun. Um, some of them... Well, actually, at least the English ones are. Are the Japanese names puns, too? I think they are. I just never looked up the origin of them. Like, Pikachu is the Japanese name as well. Um, I don't know what it means, though. Okay, I actually kind of prefer having all the health bars. Yeah, you can simplify the UI a bit if you want. I'm just gonna leave that on. Yeah, hopefully people find the guide really useful. I, um, I was working on it for a while. It's basically, it's complete for launch content. I was, um, figuring there would be an event for launch. There probably will be very shortly. I would expect an event of some kind within a month maximum. I'm hoping within a week. Um, oh, you should probably save your pulls. Um, Blue, um, Blue has an event banner in a week, uh, starting... Starting September 4th, I believe, Blue has a banner. So save your gems and don't pull until then. I drank a tallish glass of Umeshu, and apparently my last meal was a bit too long ago, because woof was Umeshu. I assume alcohol from the rest of that, but... Oh man, guys, I'm so glad the blue bug is gone. You to playing this game has been an utter chore with that bug. It sounds pretty minor. But when you're grinding something like this, it's, just, it's so frustrating. Also, special teams are like twice as good as no as physical teams right now. Just because Rosa is so good and she has X special attack all. Um, so you lose like one third of Rosa's goodness. If you don't have that, if you don't have special attack. There are good physical attack characters, there just isn't a physical support that replaces Rosa. Um, I think Drake is pretty good. I think he's just not quite as good as Rosa. Drake is pretty similar. I don't know if he has X special attack, or X regular attack. Oh. I have him, I could check. Doing stuff. So what exactly did the blue bug do? Um, the blue bug kicks you back into the Pokemon Center every time you completed a level. Otherwise, you're supposed to get kicked back to the menu where you select a level. So, if you wanted to grind, like, the level up match, like, a hundred times, you'd get kicked back to the Pokémon Center a hundred times. It was really frustrating. Um, it was even just for- I was just recording, um, uh, quick... I was just recording some story segments real quick for the YouTube for, like, a, a long play kind of thing, because it's a mobile game, so... Eventually it will die, and I would like to have, you know, the story and stuff recorded. Um, and it was a real pain in the butt, because every time you complete a level, you get kicked all the way back out. You have to scroll through all the menus again. So that's bad. But that's fixed, so... Kids these days don't know. You'll never know the blue bug. Are you the cute pig girl's tap? Um, I am all of the three people at the bottom. None, none of us really have pigtails. I have- I think you're talking about Chris, but I do have Chris, and she is really good, but I don't have her max level cap, so I'm not using her. I'm- I need to get her max level cap, but grinding, as I was saying, grinding was a pain in the butt until just now, so I'll probably correct that soonish. Still sleep hungover. When did you sleep? The green one with the twin buns. Yeah, I think you're, yeah, you're talking about um, Chris. I'll show you who I have. It has not changed since last time. I haven't done any polls since the last stream, I don't think. I don't think Sun is here, but Sun asked if Flannery is here. Flannery is in fact free. Spicy boys. 
The faces are really good. I love the little characterizations. They're probably the best thing in the game, honestly, aside from the combat system. And once you beat all the content, it's really the main reason to poke around. So How is here, everyone's favorite from, um... Well, actually, Lily is everyone's favorite from, uh, Sun Moon, but How is cool, too. Um... Lily, I'm sure Lily will be added. Yeah, I really like how expressive the animations are, because Pokémon... I like Pokémon a lot, but the dialogue... You don't get a lot of dialogue per character, and even in the more realistic ones, the characters don't have a lot of expressiveness in their animations and stuff, but they're very expressive. Depends on the character. Rosa, Rosa is particularly expressive. But I like getting to talk to, especially Elite Four characters. Most Elite Four characters they have like three lines of dialogue, and it's a shame because a lot of them have really good uh, designs. Um. Okay, let's see if the uh, if there's a launch banner. I forgot about that. I think the graphics are really good too. You can definitely tell there's 3DS models being used, uh, but the trainer models look really good. Uh, so yeah, that's the new. That's the that's the thing. It, yeah, this is just the banner from before, which I have. Um, I actually have all of the five stars already except for um, Phoebe. So that's. <laughs> Better, much better than I was expecting to get. There's a lot of lower characters that I haven't gotten that I want. Um, well, there's some anyway. I'm not seeing too many actually. I guess I have. I think I have like half or more than half even of the set. I I want Lorelai. I don't have her. Agatha. Oh yeah, I want that Gengar. Um, phrasing. Uh, I hope Grant's Amora. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't evolve. A lot of Pokemon don't evolve in this. It's silly. Um, I'm actually okay with missing most of the people I'm missing. Chantal, Lorelei, and Roxy are really about it, and Phoebe. This is really the only, like, super wants that I have. That and Agatha. I don't, I don't think Gengar is as OP. Po regular balance of Pokemon is totally out the window, by the way. Um... Pokemon are kind of like they usually are, but the moves and stuff are set. So, like, Whitney is super OP in the main game. Well, not super OP, but she's probably the first gym leader a lot of people lost to. Um, she's just kind of okay in this. Okay, here's my list of duders. About half of these are free. Well, 18! You get 18 units for free. And the rest were not. Um, you get about... It costs 300 gems to do a pull, and you get about 7,000, I would say, gems by completing all of the possible content currently. So, that's just two 10 pulls and some change, um, which is not super generous. So, it's one of those high rates, low currency things so far, which is a little iffy. I kind of prefer more... I like the way Azure Lane does it, honestly. Azure Lane, it's Gashapon, but it gets most of its money from people buying skins. Um, you can just buy costumes. And so people throw like 20 bucks, get a couple costumes, you know, a few weeks later more costumes, and I think they get more money from that than the Gashapon stuff. So the rates in that aren't too egregious. But I've been lucky in this so far. I've been told that red, uh, blue is going to be good, stat-wise. I, I don't know exactly how. I, I wouldn't be surprised, but... I think most people are going to want to save for blue. He's everyone's favorite asshole. Which... <laughs> phrasing again. Are we not doing phrasing anymore? Yeah, they kind of... This kind of came out of nowhere. I... Well, I mean, it's supposed to launch tomorrow. I wasn't expecting it tonight. I wonder how many people are streaming this right now. There's so many new Pokémon. Uh, there's like, what? 780? How many Pokémon are there now? Um... Is 
So, Marshadow. Oops. Was the last one in the last game. Uh, almost exactly 800. The hell? Poi Poipol? Uh, I do not stand for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I, th I think they're silly. And these new legendaries they have are also silly. Yeah, there's about 800 Pokemon now. There's gonna be... I would estimate about 900 once the new Pokemon game comes out. I, I'm not really a big fan of the Ultra Beasts either, honestly. The They have some interesting typing and like stat combo stuff. They just look a bit too much like Digimon for me. Um, what was I gonna look for? Oh yeah, I wonder how many people are streaming this right now. How do I... How do I see a thing? Um, I think I gotta like look at my own channel, and then there's a thing that tells me what game I'm playing. Yeah, Category Pokemon Masters. Oh yeah, a bunch of people. Rerolling in this game is possible, by the way. You can delete your, um... Oh, that's beautiful. My image just... My thumbnail is all stretched out. Twitch doesn't like you to stream in vertical mode, does it? I'm like the only person that's streaming this game without stretching or like doing something and making it into 16.9. That seems... that's kind of... Oh wait, I don't have chat on screen, do I? Oops, sorry chat. No offense to y'all. I forgot about you. I mean, I didn't forget about you, but I forgot to display you on screen. There you go, chat. You can live down here. I still hate the whole Degzit thing. Oh yeah, that's freaking that's terrible. Degza is... Ugh. I really hope they're just, like, making an excuse so they can have, like, Pokemon Super Sword! And then Super Sword has the full thing, and so you gotta buy it twice to get, like, all of the Pokémon. Which is still bullcrap, but... Completely culling the ranks is ridiculous. How would you do that without stretching the ever-loving hook out of the picture? Um... What they usually do is, um... The chat- why is the chat delayed? We stream- I see messages in chat. Um, what am I trying to say? Um... Yeah, that restreet thing- three- what? This chat message, what are you doing? Um... I forgot what I was saying. Um... No, people put, like, chat things over here on the right. I- there's nothing there on the right for me to gesture to. Um, but, like, they'll have, like, images, like, face cams, and, like, pictures of the dog, or, like, you know, a chart of, you know, traffic homicides, or, you know, just, just random crap that they shove there to fill the space. Because it doesn't, you, you can't, look, tap tap. you can't just upload a 9x16 game in its native resolution, that's for please. A lot of people are streaming this right now. Well, uh, mo mostly titty cams. Uh, actually, let me show you this. Um, can I copy and paste? No, I can't. It's not. <laughs> it's not worth showing you. But there's somebody with fake Go characters rubbing their tits together. Not. Not kidding. Um. Yeah. The big donors and stuff. I do have a little donation thing. Oh, that's not on either. It is now, though. I don't know why the chat thing is not working, though. Let me refresh it. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. It was just working just a bit ago. Oh, there we go. Of course, that's the first comment that gets posted. And thanks. Thanks, Farmer.
There we go. I don't know why that didn't work. Anyway. I, mean, I guess it's easy, it makes it easier to put chat up on there, and you can have waifu cam and stuff, which... I don't- I don't do face cam, I don't really do waifu cam, I could give- I could show you my, um... My Supersonico wallpapers, I guess. I've done accidental waifu cam. Hey, <laughs> these so I to bring the perversion of two horny women at once, thanks. Doing a great job. A great job of getting me banned from- oh wow, I just that one doesn't give me gold once. Yeah, the, the regular, the normal super courses aren't really worth doing, by the way. They're not as good as, um... So let me show you how much stuff costs, unfortunately. Um, leveling up your characters and stuff- oh hey, there's Chris! I was pretty excited to get Chris. She's five- she's never <laughs> talked! So many of the protagonists, like, there's no evidence of their personality and stuff. So, uh, Chris is kind of a book learning type. And she's very passionate about Suicune, which makes sense. You gotta use your own... You gotta use Twitch emotes. Twitch is weird. It's not like YouTube. Of course, if you're from Twitch, you think YouTube is weird and it's not like Twitch. But no, it's not like Discord emotes. You gotta use their own thing. I think you can input regular emojis. Actually, I don't know. I think it uses IRC. Does IRC have emoji support now? Probably. I, I don't know. But it doesn't do the colon thing. Um, so yeah, upgrading your moves and skills um, is pretty cheap by the time you get to late game. By the time you get a team that's like max level cap, that stuff is trivial. Um, the one thing that costs a butt ton is getting to the max level cap. So, as you can see, I need 200 gold items and 450 silver ones. Um, that's... I haven't... I'm sure there's numbers run somewhere. I guess I should run them from my guide, but... It's a fair amount. So, I'm... Kind of waiting for Olivia or Chris. The, another annoyance is that... Four out of the five five-star characters are strike type, which means you need a huge, huge amount of the same material. And you get even amounts of all of the different materials, really. So it means you really have to grind extra hard on the strike types. And it's a little boring. It also means there's like twice as many strike types as there are support and uh, tech types. So strike types are just like the way little kids play Pokemon, where you just do lots of damage and you don't care about using, like, strategy moves. Um, support types are- they tend to be bulky mods, and they tend to have stuff like X Special Attack all, buff your whole team, that kind of thing. Um, a lot of- including a lot of moves that normal Pokémon does not have. Normal Pokémon isn't really as set up for 3v3 as this game is. So it's really nice to see all those extra moves that buff your whole team and have team-wide effects. Um, and tech- Pokemon are usually like your status dealers. They'll reduce um, reduce stats or they'll do status effects or both. Um, tech are really underpowered currently. You're kind of best off with two supports and one strike. And that's kind of a shame. There are some really interesting tech characters. I really like Janine's thing. Um, you basically use cross poison and once you get to once you poison them, you kind of spam, um, let me show you some different teams here. You spam Venom Drench to just completely destroy their attack power. And it's, uh, it's pretty fun, but you don't usually need to do it, it's usually best to just attack. Kind of a shame, like I said, it does kind of oversimplify things a bit more than I would like. My, my throat is going, my voice is going to be destroyed. Tomorrow, but oh well. I wasn't even expecting to stream four hours for the freaking um thing. The oops, what are you doing? Oh, sometimes it waits to do the strongest attack. What great composition! I'll let you hear the voices. I forgot I turned those off. Time for some research. You might hate them, but I'll let you hear them either way. Do your 
You get the raw experience. Bloody raw! Oh yeah, the, true, the manga does kind of... If you, you get some of the personalities, some of the characters from the manga. Though I don't believe that any of this is based on any of the manga or anime stuff. Maybe a little of the manga, I don't know. It's, the, the special attacks are cute. Maybe I could have won if I wore cuter clothes. Good, good, reasonable character dialogue. <laughs> Pokemon is full of extremely reasonable, real humans with real concerns and real opinions on life. Um, what was I gonna say? Anyway, this is kind of the grind loop. You'll. <laughs> I was hoping for an event. There's not going to be too much more than just me grinding and showing off my units, because there's no fun raid bosses right now or anything. Hopefully that changes, but for now, I'll probably upload a, you know, get started quick video pretty soon, probably tomorrow night. Not, not tonight. Um, there's already the written guide though, it's really all you need. You gotta love Sveal. He's just... Orb. One thing I really hope they do add, though, is... There's no generic trainers that you get to play as. I would really like that as an option. Like, make them free characters you can get outside of Gashapon. Let people expand their roster. They don't have to be too good. You just... I just want to collect things. Cute Pokémon, cute trainers, you know. Cute clothes so we can win battles, because that's how you win battles. According to that NPC, anyway. By the way, the color's a little bit washed out because my Chromecast is... Well, all Chromecasts... Well, this model of Chromecast does not do um, high color range. And if I change it back, I forget to change it, and so then later streams will be blown out colors. And I'm not touching that anymore. I've been, I've been bitten too many times by changing which display mode my capture card is. The um the auto battles AI kind of sh unfortunately shows how simple the battles can be. Um, there's pretty much always a best attack for all characters on the field. Um, there's rarely a time you would bring three different Pokémon with three different types to match up to your opponent's three different types. Even though that's, like, exactly what you would do in normal Pokémon. Because there's no resistances, um, you usually just want to have buffs on one striker and just use that as your only damage source. I do think that is a little bit blue. Oh, 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 I just realized. Um, there's cutscenes that you're not seeing. Let's get that one. Let me show you those. I'm in full on grind mode, so. Which it is good that a game does have full on grind mode. Oh, no stamina system, by the way. There's certain battles. Um, there's certain daily events you can only do like three times each, but that's really the only limit there is. In fact, there's, there's some. <laughs> person that I sincerely hope is cheating that has 9,999 of all of the upgrade materials. I really hope they cheated those in, because that's ridiculous. Who are these dudes? What, what dudes? Do you honestly think you can beat me? Do you honestly yeah. think you can beat me, please? Right on target. Do you mean my dudes or their dudes? Which, which dudes are we talking about here? Leave it to me. So Sveal is huge. Claire is such a drama queen. Yeah, you have little, um... I guess you don't really get to see them super well at max speed. Um... But there's cute little cutscenes for all of the little, all the sync pairs. Everyone has their own animation for the sync move. It's neat. 
Oh, there's Megas in this. You probably noticed, because I have Mega Houndoom. But, uh... <laughs> this game has so many features and characters that the new, real Pokémon game doesn't have. Y yay? Question mark? What is a Yumiboshi, by the way? You can do it. Cool Pickled Yumi fruits in Japan. Oh. Those don't look particularly delicious. I thought you were, like, hitting the sake or something. When you said your stomach was empty. Plum. Touch. Her voice? I, I don't know if I buy her voicing. Oh yeah, is there Japanese voices in the game yet? I don't think there was an option for it before. Uh, I'll check out this battle. Which is right now! The voicing is... okay. You never really expect good voice acting out of a Nintendo game. I guess Pokemon isn't... Exactly a Nintendo game, but they, they, they feel like they, they're, they're in extreme sync with a lot of business practices. Umeshu is the sweet plum liquor. Oh. Okay, so it was booze, okay. Um, Time for some research. Oh, there's text autoplay. Oh, there is Japanese now. I don't think there used to be it. Let's try that out for a bit. Updating preference. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why that needs to go to the title screen, but. An assist. Eh? Oh, oh, it has to download. Okay. Got it. Oh, yeah, as far as rerolls, um, you can link to your account to the, uh, to your Club Nintendo account, and you only get two pulls worth of items. Um, but you can delete your data completely, so you can resync. Um, you can resync your Nintendo account, so it is possible to re-roll. You don't have to be afraid of linking your N club Nintendo account. I don't really recommend re-rolls, but I know people are gonna do it. Nah. <laughs> that's that's all you get. Nah. Okay, so. They're maybe a bit more expressive, but it's the same type of deal. They just kind of say, like, a word. Sugoi? Yes! Yeah, it's the same thing. I, I wasn't expecting too much different. It's just kind of funny to hear. Minimal possible voice acting. In Japanese. Nah. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Whoa. That was a little crusty audio. Not showing up in the Play Store. Oh no, you're gonna need to use your real phone. <laughs> Nothing by Nintendo, and usually Pokemon Company, um, works on emulator. Wait, say that again? Yeah, pretty standard Japanese voice acting quality. I'm not one of those people that thinks, you know, subs are always better than dubs. Um, but I do think, especially for stuff like this, the average Japanese voice acting quality is higher. I think I think they just spend more money on it. Like, I would not say Japanese games have superior voice acting compared to like Uncharted. Um, but most, you know, lower tier, like lower budget Japanese games allocate a higher percentage of their budget towards voice acting. It's usually very last on the list for English stuff. Sounds like any other game. You want the APK mod? Yeah, it's um, it is officially out. You should be able to, as long as you have a phone that can run it, you should be able to play it now. 
There's no more VPN requirement and it's out in the stores. Did that freaking septile just Naruto run? Are you, are you serious? Seven foot tree monster. Naruto running into Area 51. I want that carnivine, by the way. Beautiful young man. I kind of wish the AI was dumber and just like <laughs> used random attacks just so I could see them sometimes. In fact, I'm just gonna do that for you. I'm just gonna use things. But yeah, the difference in Pokemon stats is so that using a support mon's attacks or tech mon's attacks sometimes is just not gonna make a lot of sense. And I, I do hope that typing becomes more of a thing. I keep getting these tiny little frame drops. It's really annoying. That's a big ol' nose band-aid, by the way. I hecked up applying a band-aid yesterday, by the way. I got the longer end. These, these band-aids kinda suck, anyway. They're really goopy with the tapey, with the adhesiveness. But I got the longer side in my arm hair, and now it's... Blue. Blue up in there. Uh, Flattery's in the game. She's free. She, uh, she's one of the first characters you get, actually. I think she's, like, level 3. It'll, it'll come off after a shower. I've been kind of watching it aggressively. The adhesive is aggressive. Oh yeah, weather moves are a thing. Um... I don't have anyone that can do Rain Dance, but um, Kingdra might be OP with Rain Dance. I don't know. It has a thing that raises its um, it raises its speed in uh, rain. It might be pretty cool. Is it never-ending weather? Um, I don't know. I assume not, because I have I can only use hail twice. Battles are very much focused towards quickly getting a win, though. Um, when the enemy uses their sync move, it clears all of your team's buffs. When your team uses it, it does not clear the enemy's buffs. So the enemy is basically constantly getting stronger every time it uses the sync move, and it's eventually going to be impossible to beat. Usually you're going to want to beat it before it does two or three sync moves. Alright. I'm going to lower the bit rate, it keeps dropping. Mediacom disagrees with me doing s two streams. Weather is definitely not particularly OP currently in this. AoE is the real, <laughs> generally pretty OP thing. What's up, Claire? <laughs> Don't be so rude! Claire is a total MLG Kermit. She kind of hits on you sometimes, though. <laughs> Yes. 
Dress like fucking Bowser. <laughs> it's not strange, and I am not embarrassed. Convincing. Claire is great. Oh my. What's up, Blaine? Oi! I'm pretty annoyed <laughs> with, um... Oh yeah, nothing is as OP as the primal Pokémon's weather stuff. Nothing has an ability that sets weather. Mm. I don't know why I was expecting v English VAs. There are! Um, I actually intentionally switched over to Japanese because I don't believe it had them before now. Also, there's gonna be some new lore in this game, like Eridos Silk. I can hear the lore detectors. Did you know gaming and stuff like that is gonna just explode their panties off? No. Why are you so small? She's pupper. Those tiny little arms. Generic angry Japanese man, okay. <laughs> Not what I expected. What do you sound like? Okay. Gener <laughs> Pretty much what you would expect. The leveling up isn't too hard, by the way. Um, you pretty much grind for these level up manuals, and then. They're the level cap is really the, the primary grind. This increased potential thing is still basically impossible. You have to pull five... No, you have to pull a sixth duplicate of a character that you already have. Um, and then you start to get star power-ups that let you upgrade characters. And that's, that's basically impossible at present. Even if you spent money. Which I have. I've spent... Uh... What do they cost? Oh, there's one time special. Okay, there is one new thing. Um, didn't that used to be cheaper? Oh, I think the prices got worse. A little bit. Maybe. I think that used to be 4 bucks and 13 I think I spent $13 on this. I think the 16 used to be 50 It's... Hmm. How good of a deal is that? Uh, it's like 40% off? Forgive my napkin math. I'm a programmer, I'm not... <laughs> my computer's supposed to do the math for me. Oh hey, let's see what- let's see if the item prices went down. These things are such a scam. There's no reason you would ever pay. Um, use the coins for these. Save your coins! for um, evolution crystals and um, replay tickets. I don't even know if replay tickets will be worth it, but there was nothing else to use my last 200,000 coins on. Man, those stone prices are nuts though. I'm really glad, I'm really glad I upgraded my units before they raised that price. Here's Whitney. Whitney is not OP, um, which is a shame. Oh yeah, there's no, um... She sounds like a Suka. Um... What am I trying to say? There's no EVs or IVs or anything. A sync pair is always the same. That... I think that might be Asuka. Nintendo's relatively mild. I don't know. Animal Crossing got pretty damn bad. They kind of start okay and get worse, which really is the, the general strategy. 
I'm not sure I'm even gonna try that Pokemon or not. Pokemon. I'm not sure I'm even gonna try that new Pokemon mobile game. It sounds like shit to me. Um, I, I don't even know if I'm gonna try the new um, Mario Kart thing. I took like one look at the um, Dr. Mario thing, and it's like, oh, it's, it's Candy Crush. So I know that it's just gonna be a thing where after a certain level it gets really hard and really random and the game just wants you to pay so that you can like cheat through the level so that's exactly what Candy Crush does I think Fire Emblem Heroes is fairly rough as far as even as far as Gashapon games go um, like people like some aspects about it but there seems to be a ton of limited units and very low rates for currency amount. I don't even honestly feel like Mario Kart makes a lot of sense to play on mobile. I don't know how that would feel good, even if it weren't loot box crap. I'm honestly super disappointed in Nintendo for giving up after a single attempt at a premium mobile thing. Like, yes. Mario Run didn't do too great, which honestly, it seems like like everyone was talking about and stuff. I just feel like there wasn't enough stuff to it. Um, but for them to have immediately given up and immediately go to the exact standard cash grab loot box stuff, that is a shame. You have to buy gas. Wait, what, are you serious? Are you serious? Uh, like a stamina mechanic? That actually was pretty surprising that this game didn't have one, by the way. Um, it's not super fun just grinding here for materials. I don't have anything better to do while talking about it right now anyway, so... And I'm just enjoying not having the blue bug. Parker, I'm, I'm trying to do stuff funny. Don't kiss the mic. Parker. Parskers. Please. You're joking, oh. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if you had to buy gas for, like, a stamina mechanic. That's exactly, I mean, that's exactly what, um, Dr. Mario has. I was never a huge fan of Dr. Mario anyway. I like the song better than I like the game. Well, I guess it has two songs. Uh, yes. What's your What's your, your favorite track from um, Dr. Mario? Uh, hot or cold, or flu or cold, fever, whatever it is. I think fever is the obvious one. But cold is interesting. Why now? He's very weird in his times he picks to be annoying. Oh, what's happening? AI, please! Oh, here we go. I love the big old snow lady. Best attack. It's like a Kirby attack. Like, you do exactly that in Kirby. In, uh, Superstar Ultra- or not Superstar Ultra. Um... Um... Uncle Jim Bob's Adventure. No, the uh, Return to Dreamland. Yeah, I don't really have a ton of games on mobile. I pretty much only play this. If I, I got, let's see what I got. I have LibriVox. I have three of these games, or no, two of these games I haven't played. Muse Dash I got just to support the developers. Really, I. It's. At a competitive level, it's probably better to play it on mobile, but I, I've only played it mostly on Switch. Potion Maker is good. Potion Maker is good. Um, finally has an event again. I've never played Cooking Quest. I'm not sure why that's here. Um, the Cat's Meow Town I need to check out. Fishing Life is just ad-filled. It's a cute idea, but there's way too many ads, which is... You kind of pick your poison with mobile game stuff. It's either... It's either tons of ads like Abyssrium and stuff, or it's Gashapon. 
There's some really good premium stuff like um, Monument Valley and and Monument Valley 2 and the, the DLC for Monument Valley. <laughs> um, there's some really good puzzle games that are premium. There's that the room or the box or whatever. That was supposed to be really good. But yeah, there's not really a lot. Yeah, if you don't... If you don't have a need to just play games on your phone, I, I don't really recommend mobile as a gaming platform. The sad thing is, I don't really feel like mobile has matured very much. Like, everyone was like, oh, come on, mobile games kind of suck now, but it's gonna be better, there's, there's good stuff. Honestly, I feel like the ratio of good stuff is, if anything, lower than it used to be. Like, when I had my iPad and I was like, the iPad 2, and I was super excited to play, like, Jetpack Joyride, um, Dragon Veil, which that was kind of Farmville-y. That wasn't the best monetization model. Um, there was Tiny Tower. There was some good um, tower defense games. There are some perfectly fine tower defense games, like the Bloons games are on mobile. They're fine. They're premium. You know what's weird? I meant to do a video of it, but I couldn't put it on an emulator. There's an Adventure Time Bloons TD game. You know, with the monkeys and the throwing darts at balloons. There's one of those with, like, Hawkins, or not Hawk and Finn. <laughs> Huckleberry Finn. No, with Finn and Jake. Uh, it's kind of grindy, though. I played it because I was bored on a trip once, and it's alright, but I'm not sure I'd recommend it. There's definitely a lot of better tower defense games that... Grinding in a tower defense game just feels really weird. It's like... What do you mean, grind? It's supposed to be strategy. Picross on mobile. You know what's funny? I only play Picross on mobile in um, Azure Lane has... Um, Picross minigames sometimes, and the, their UI for Picross is terrible. I'm sure there's much better ways to do it, but it's really clumsy. Magikarp jump. Oh yeah, um... That's basically a reskin of, um... A really good game, um... Survive Mola Mola. But, um, I got so tired of redoing, like, that game has so much dialogue, it, it got extremely tiring, and I had to stop playing, just because you see the same dialogue, like, a dozen times for each, like, tournament, and it just got to the point where you're just tapping through dialogue. Maybe they fixed that at some point, I don't know, but I couldn't deal with it anymore. The developer that makes that is pretty good, though. They also made Hunt, Hunt Hook, which I keep meaning to play, but not. Man, it's gonna be so nice to never have to use the VPN again to play this. Hopefully they add some fun events and stuff soon so I have a reason to play this, but... <laughs> What is his voice? He sounds like he's three! I mean, I know How is not like a withered old man, but he sounds like he's three. Hey guys, let's play a poke. <laughs> if I try to do a voice, it just comes out Kermit 50% of the time. It doesn't matter what I'm trying to do. This isn't the team I'm meant to use, though. Yeah, he sounds like a baby. Like a little bab in swaddling clothes. I was so glad Kelly E is here. A lot of times, young guys are chosen voice by ladies. Yeah, that, that's the way a lot of stuff is, you know. Um, Bart Simpson's voice actress is a girl, obviously. Don't have a cow, man. The voices aren't really any less annoying in Japanese, honestly. <laughs> They're still saying the same couple of lines so many times. Yeah, using actual kid actors for 
for kid rolls is very risky. <laughs> you can't really avoid it for live action usually, but... <laughs> you just have to do the same thing. I'm not sure it's any better this way. It's not really how I would have imagined her sounding. I'm glad that, that Golf Girl is here, though. Um, I think she, yeah, she is Gashapon, but I, I got her pretty easy. Um, who else? Who do you want to see, chat? Not me. Not... Your player character starts with Pikachu, because of course you do. Who do we want to see here? Oh, Lieutenant Surge, yes. Surge is one of those characters that he's... Um, he's a tech character, they're not very good. Let's do Chris. Um, sure, Claire. By the way, Surge is blatant false advertising. He never actually wears the sunglasses in, in like, animated parts of the game. It's mean. Oh, wait, ne never mind. I guess he does there. He never wears them in the um, Pokemon Center, at least. Just a ball. Just a ball. There was no reason to use Draco Meteor. Also, the AI is really weird on whether it'll use um, buff moves or not. It's really inconsistent, and against different teams, it does different things. Not necessarily sensible things, though. So what? The, the glasses situation makes no sense. They just appear and disa uh, disappear of their own free will. Do humans have free will? Debatable. Does Lieutenant Surge's glasses have free will? Inarguably. Yeah, I'm really glad Chris is in. She's supposed to be really good, so... She's... She's a five-star strike, though, which so many people are. So I don't have a ton of reason to use her. She does have Endure, um, which is pretty dang cool. Endure is extra cool in this because um, you don't have to use it. It's like it's a passive, and it doesn't have to be from full HP. It's not like sturdy. Um... You'll always survive that last hit. <laughs> I don't have free will. I don't know, a lot of places have food though. <laughs> I don't get why it, it shows- this is basically two victory animations. I have no idea why they did it that way. My phone just dimmed itself to tell me it's time to go to the hell to bed, human. Thanks, phone. I should probably... I should probably tap out at some point here, though. I'm more or less got the cognitive and decision-making skills of a particularly hungry amoeba. For alligator, it looks... Small. I think Sveal is just ridiculously huge and is like throwing off my perception of everything. I think Kingdra is fairly big. How big is Voltorb though? I thought Voltorb was supposed to be like Pokeball size. And it's, it's one foot six, eight. 
Wait a minute. Wait, for, what the f- Okay, hold on. Let's fight this one more time. I think this is just because of the 3DS, the way the 3DS games were. Okay, so Voltorb, the Pokémon in the middle, is 1 foot 8. For Alligator, the Pokémon on the right is 7 foot 7. That, that should be four times the height, and it's less than two times. <laughs> but that's, that's Pokémon for you. There's really no rhyme or reason. I think Pikachu is like... I think Pikachu is also like one foot or something. Pikachu. Pikachu... yeah, one foot four, four inches. Which is still pretty big for a mouse, but... He's Kirby size. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't, um, my phone is all grayscale now. It doesn't, um, it doesn't show that on Chromecast, though, which is good. Anyway, do I have enough? Was, the, was all of my suffering enough to, uh, let it break Olivia or Chris? I can't really decide who. Nope. Neither. Jeez. You need a lot of materials, it kind of is a pain. I can limit break anyone else though. Um, let's limit break the tech one. He's a handful of fat mouse energy. He's not that fat anymore though. Kinda like fat Pikachu. Um, thick Pikachu. I don't know. <laughs> the problem is tech characters aren't any good, so I don't really know who to buff up. I think Wickstrom, design-wise, I do not like him, but Aegislash is cool, and in theory his stuff is neat. But also, I could upgrade a cute girl instead, so I'm just gonna do that. This is the correct way to play these games. Objectively correct. No, I'm gonna save the rest of that. Save that for something else. Support. So you have so few support people. Um, I already got Drake maxed. I think Melian is supposed to be pretty good. She's got Rock Smash, which uh, lets you lower defense at least. Misty. Misty is... Misty makes no sense. She's supposed to be a support, which means she's not supposed to be dealing damage, really. Um, but she's got Hydro Pump. She does have Special Defense all, which is nice. Uh, what does this do? Eh, gradual Heal. But healing isn't... Healing just isn't so much of a thing. The right way to play Pokemon is like an eight-year-old and just pick whatever ones you thought are cutest or coolest. Yes, pretty much. Fortunately, the best teams in this are... Oop, whoa. That was scary. All my monitors just flashed. I think the stream is still up, though. Um... What was I saying? Um... Yeah, cute team is pretty successful. You just have to pick the right cute ones, but... I mean, you can make it work with a lot of other people. Um, very hard super courses on auto are pretty rough. With some subpar teams. But that's about it. Mainly, I'm interested to see how much, how often they add stuff, because 
It's gonna kinda need to be like Azure Lane with like fairly constant new stuff and things to get. Because like the base content. You can you can really get through it pretty quick. It took me really within a week, I was pretty easily towards the end of stuff. And I and I'm not going to just sit here and grind strike training a thousand times until I level cap everyone. I currently just like I do the daily stuff. And that's about it. Her hair is so good. They got the jiggle physics on the hair. Chris is so nice. Poses. Are you allowed to just bring in an onyx here? Imagine the damage that thing could cause. There's a thick boy. Voices are kind of weirding me out in Japanese, actually. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm playing Senraku Gura, but I'm not. Pokemon X Senraku Gura crossover when? The world is ready, Nintendo er, Pokemon Company. Both, I guess. All right, one more for the road. Wait. Do we got any more super? Cool oh, it rolled over. Good for it. Oh wait, no, I just didn't do these. Let me fin- I'll finish up this tr super hard- er, I'll, bleh. I'll do this thing. And then we'll end for the night. Cause I need to get to bed. <laughs> Cause I have work tomorrow. Oh, no, no. Also, playing all three Pokemon's cries at once is slightly annoying. It's kind of a noise factory. The Discord channel is going nuts. Oh, yeah, there'll be more people joining me because of the guide and stuff. Because the game just launched. Hopefully no one goes too crazy. It probably won't be too bad for mods. We've had... There's been several games like this. I'm not sure the exact scale. In fact, let me see how many people are on my site right now. Oh, oh they got the same move first. I screwed up. That sucks. Eh, not too many. 35 people on the site right now. That's not too insane. We get more during, um... during large events in uh, Fish Game. Abyssrium. This energized skill is super OP, by the way. Pulls your move gear. What the f Oh, oh, that's, that's... Oh. Wait. Did I do it? What happened? Why would you get two? Why does she feel fast? Whatever. No, stop. Stop, stop, stop that. Heck. There'll probably be a lot more people tomorrow. Um. Because it's fairly late in most places where this has come out. The Brits might just be waking up and playing it, I guess. Yeah, it'll probably be kind of like it was when uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp came out. I miss when that game didn't have loot boxes. You know, I downloaded Animal Crossing Pocket Camp a few months ago to see what was new. And they added in the Happy Home Academy thing and I was so excited. 
Um, I love that. I love that feature. I love the interior decorating stuff in Animal Crossing. It's my favorite part of the game, and um, I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna check it out. It's gonna be so cool." And guess what? It's just an advertisement for the loot boxes. The only way to win is to use the loot boxes, and I'm not kidding. You have to use. Um, you have to get the things from the, the, um... You have to get a certain amount of the items from the loot boxes in a furniture set in order to complete the challenges. So it's just a completeness gauge for the loot boxes. It's not really a game mode. It's, I, I immediately deleted it once I realized that. That was... Crushing, I would say. <laughs> And I actually really liked, like a lot of people are like, oh, why is, why did they make this happy home designer thing? I really liked that game, it was really cool. Who's a 7 was just shown? Huh, cool. I'm going to not check that out because I'm going to go to sleep right after the stream. But I will check that out soon. Do any Discord mods might peek in on the... Most of the people will probably be in the Pokemon channel, that's where the invite goes to. People probably won't be too nuts. Pokemon community is average, I would say, in terms of quality. As long as people aren't too thirsty, it's not usually too bad. There's a moderate, there's a fair amount of kids. There's a fair amount of not kids. It is a very thirsty game, though. Uh, this is gonna be this is frickin' flinch. The flinching is super OP in this, it really... Normally it would only cancel one move. But it's like a major status effect now. <laughs> Never give up with this! I, was, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, here we go. We in this. So dramatic. <laughs> no, the thing with the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp is like, paying was so bad. Like, I'm not opposed to like a fair transaction. Like, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Quest. I bought the three packs. Pokemon Quest is basically a premium forty dollar game with like a really slow demo that lets you play the full game if you can stand it. Um, and I got basically the 30... It's like between 30 and 40 bucks to get all the main things. And they basically unlock things to make the game a lot faster and more enjoyable and stuff. I, I thought that was really fun. <laughs> this half voice clip. I don't think I can deal with the Japanese voices, actually. Give up in Japanese really is give up suru. Really? They, they love integrating English stuff. We've only got like six people in the last half hour. We've had more. Most of them will probably be here. I'll let you pass. As you can see, the difficulty range is pretty dang wide. And bosses have like every passive ability ever. Bosses are super. 
super BS in this, but it's how the game works. I don't mind it too much. I just hope they have some reason to use co-op. Oops, I pressed something. If you press something, it turns off, so... Nursing this nice big cut on my leg from Parker. It gets crazy at around 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. Just specifically the, those two witching hours. He wants to be crazy and like attack my leg. mean though like if I don't have a toy to distract him it like bites at my leg I don't know why he can't want to play when it's like human hours 4 a.m. when I like wake up to go to the bathroom is not when I like wanna play feather duster games Look at the happiness, look at the smile on the man on the left. The intensity. Oh, what the hell? Something messed up on my guide. Those are supposed to be. on my guide is playing all screwed up. This is not crazy low as I I hate WordPress sometimes. I'm trying to fix that. Keep thinking it's gonna say, oh my god! Uh, what is that stupid thing? Why the fuck is it doing that? 
Where's the little Z team's malfunction? I think the Twitch embed is breaking the. Yeah, the Twitch embed is breaking my table. Whatever. I'll remove the Twitch embed pretty soon, but. Why is that? I'm sorry, live debugging over here. Did I forget to end a script tag or something? Why is things like this? Um... That cracks me up every time. I just happened to notice that. Your red's not in the game yet. Um, I'm sure he will be, of course. But, um, let's... I have to assume the Twitch embed broke that. It's the only thing I've changed. There's some weird stuff on my server. Try something that should have. <laughs> Running your own website sure is fun sometimes. <laughs> It's still broken, what the f- What the hell is index.js? Man, this is not the- <laughs> This is not the problem I need to be debugging while doing a live stream at midnight on a work night. I, hopefully if I remove the Twitch embed, it'll go back. But, yeah. Way to sour the launch party, JavaScript. I'm just gonna blame JavaScript, because it's probably... probably JavaScript. Yeah, that table is supposed to... Most of those headers are supposed to be hidden. And you're supposed to be able to search through it, and... I, I Let's see if my other tables are broken.
too many tabs open. Where did I open that? Oops, not you. What the shit? That table is just broke across my guide. I need to use an authenticator app, so I need to. <sighs> Cloudflare constantly asks me for the two factor code, even though it's supposed to only ask you once a month. It asks me every time, and so does so many other things. I don't mind two factor authentication at all, but I shouldn't have to enter a code more than once a month. That makes it. Really, really frustrating. Anyway, back to... Back to game. Wait, what? Oh, auto. Go. After two or three every time I access my HR site for the hospital. Yeah, I have lots of things. I have to two factor with Linode, I have to two factor with Cloudflare. Just everything when I'm trying to. What is this? <laughs> Oh, I just want the tables on my side to not look ugly. Should not be hard. Oh! I think I fixed it. Sorry for the live debugging, but that's kind of... Very important feature of the guide for the game. Okay, I fixed it. I think Cloudflare's stupid rocket loader broke it again. No, Red's not in the game yet. It's all. Tell, tell him to check the guide. It's all in the guide. Um, characters that aren't in that list aren't out yet. Red will probably be a few months. You can add to my accomplishments that I fixed a stupid JavaScript issue during a live stream to fix the guide for a game that just came out while I'm doing the live stream. So I'm I'm proud of that at least. 
All right. Man, I, I hoped... Someone data mined and said there was going to be like a guaranteed five star, um... Um... Banner thing. And I've been saving up for launch. So I've been saving up all my gems for launch so I could do either that thing or the red pull. Or the blue, um... Banner. But blue is not yet. Blue, blue is supposed to come next week, so again, if you missed that... Don't pull if you want blue. Blue comes out in a week, so you need to save up. You need to wait for that. And you really don't get a lot of gems. I was hoping he would do his creepy face one. He does a really good face. Ooh! communicates through grunting. His voice is like... There's like peaking in his voice. No, no. I can't deal with Hao's voice. He sounds three. Yeah, no, no stream pulls, even though I know that's hype and all of that crap. No stream pulls yet. I'll have to wait for red. I'll probably stream when red or a new event is coming out. Hopefully at the same time. I, I honestly thought there would be something for launch that would be different. It's really just the mild discounts on in-app purchases. Um, and um, fixing the blue bug, which was important. The blue bug was dreadful. <laughs> Rosa makes the best faces. By the way, that is clearly a bootleg Pokemon shirt. Or bootleg Pokeball shirt. I love when they just just grunts, just like oh, real people communicate. Hey, Bryce. Whoa. <laughs> so where's that hat in? I think Rosa is only in black, white too. I think. It might be the Innova League logo. Is it? Is that a thing? Let me Google Innova League logo. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. I love her skort, by the way. That's a thing, apparently. Or is it scants? Is it scants or a skort when you have a skirt and shorts? Scants sounds like inappropriate. Oh, by the way, there's little like datey things that you can. They're basically like little mini dating sim things. Like you don't actually date them, but it's the same concept. Some dog butt there for you. So tap tap is walking down. What is this dramatic writing? I love the an unknown um, font they have going on up there. Kind of unknown font. <laughs> Sense your presence. That's not creepy. Houndoom looks like he's about to like tear me several new structurally superfluous holes. <laughs> Thanks, phone. Oh. We have to end the stream soon, so... Was my guard down? Yes. It's a loose piece of thread. <gasps> and this is where I... Houndoom just set me on fire. Thanks. This... 
<laughs> you're, you're, I think in most states that's considered assault. <sighs> Don't you shove those things in my face. This is not that kind of game. Bad people will invent all kinds of reasons to approach you. What? What? What are we talking about here? You're flexible. What are we talking about here, Karen? I kinda like that. I don't I don't I don't know if I should this is getting this is getting weird. You can't adapt and change. No. <laughs> we don't! <laughs> Thank you. great. It's a weird thing to tell me. Eh? <laughs> Humble. Moves so much. Go, men, I say. Thanks, buddy. Eh? Then you get a paltry ten gems for the first clear, just so you get something. But I like those little things. Um, all the trainers have their own thing. And obviously your choices do not actually matter in any way, shape, or form. I, I don't know why these kind of things do that. I guess it's just to like let your character... Let you pretend your character has dialogue, even though you obviously don't. Oh, there's Barry. Uncle Barry! Um, hey Candice. I don't see you too often. Alright. <sighs> I have to- I, I genuinely have to end the stream here, because my phone is gonna die. Thanks for watching, everybody! Um... Frick. I was gonna stream this tomorrow, I don't know if I will now. Maybe I should. Maybe I will a little bit. Yeah, I probably will a little bit, just because I made a, a thing for it. But, um... Thanks for watching, Good night. I need to sleep, because I have to work in eight hours. See you later and enjoy the game. Remember, guide on uh, guide on the site. I fixed the stupid dumb issue with it. The 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 sync list table is working now. So see you later.